Hello, Driving Intelligence. I've got a 2002 F-150 behind me with 213,000 miles on it, and typical of vehicles that have this kind of age and mileage on it, uh, your seats start to show wear. I've been looking for seat cushions for some time for the driver's seat because the, uh, the side closest to the door has taken the most abuse as you slide in and out. And unfortunately, they don't make the cushion anymore, and uh, I thought there wasn't an aftermarket. Um, after looking at my seat cushion, I went online to try to find the appropriate seat cushion, and uh, some of these seat cushion models popped up. But when I checked with the, uh, the salespeople, they said that um, it only works for the F-250 Super Duty. Um, I happened to uh, be working with somebody uh, a few weeks ago that has an F-250, and when I looked at my driver's seat compared to theirs, they are absolutely identical. So why the application for this cushion doesn't apply to an F-150 kind of surprises me, but I can't confirm it yet. I'm about to di dive into this. Um, this is the cushion I got. Um, it's actually extremely modestly priced. It's only maybe $40 up uh, delivered. So I'm going to take my seat out. I'll take you through that, and uh, let's see if this seat that uh, this seat cushion that's intended for an F-250 Super Duty will actually work. And then for those of you looking for replacement seats for your F-150 um, 10th generation, um, this should help you out. Here's my seat. I'm only focused on the driver's side. The other side is in better condition. Um, but you'll see that this is lower, this bolster is lower than the one on the other side, which means this is collapsed. I have taken this seat apart before, and this is definitely um, collapsed down, so it needs a, a better cushion. Um, I'm going to take this seat out, which is relatively easy. Um, it involves pulling this plate up, and there are, I think, five bolts total that hold this seat in. It's a little heavy. You might need some help. Um, so let's get to that, and then we'll get to the next phase of, uh, of this cushion change. As I mentioned, you'll need to take out five bolts. Uh, these are T55 bolts, all the same size. Uh, once you pull all those out, um, then you can lift the seat up. Uh, there are two connectors here that you'll have to take off before you remove the seat to prevent damage to the connectors. After you do that, to start to get to the seat cushion, you'll need to remove this cover panel. Uh, this just pops off and you'll need to unscrew this, this part here. There's a screw underneath and there's multiple screws on this cover panel that need to come out in order to access the cushion more easily. The easiest way to remove this cushion is by taking these four pan bolts. Now this is if you have this style seat. There are these pan bolts that need to be removed, four of them, and the whole pan will remove from the seat, make it much easier to access. Okay, seat cushion is off, and now I need to take the seat cover off. You can see here that these are just, uh, these are clips. They clip into each other. It's very easy to remove these. You just have to pull, pull these two apart, push them together to get them apart. A little hard to do with one hand, but there it goes. Um, then all these things, this is one of the easiest seat covers I've ever had to take off. Very easy to take off in these sections. A little bit more difficult up here, you have to take it off these rods, but again, it's, it's, it's simple, very simple to remove and take off. Uh, as a side note, what I do when I take these off, I put them in the washer. Um, they, they clean up very nicely. I don't put them on the dry cycle, I let them hang dry, but uh, you can get uh, some funk out of, your, out of your seat cover if you just put these in the washer. And again, these are only the cloth ones. I don't know that I would put leather in the washer. Another quick tip for you while you're doing this, this pan, the first time I took it off, was absolutely covered with superficial rust. I can't stand rust. Um, it was easy, easy to clean off, 
and uh, then I used a rust reformer like uh, Rust-Oleum. After I cleaned it, made sure it was degreased, and it comes out pretty nice. You can see some rust has come back. Now for the ultimate test. That's the old cushion. I'm going to place the other cushion on the ground next to this one. The brand new cushion. And let's see if they're identical. Now maybe I'm blind, but those cushions look absolutely identical. And they're not shown as applicable to the F-150. So we learned this together. These new cushions, which I'll link below, absolutely work for this vehicle. So the cushion's installed and I've put my aftermarket seat covers on here. I think it looks pretty good. Bolster is corrected now. And I took the opportunity to thoroughly clean my carpet while the seat was out. Always an opportunity. So once this dries, then I will reinstall the seat. Here we are reinstalled, buttoned up, and ready for more comfortable driving with my brand new lower cushion on this 2002 F-150. Uh, side note, another side note, this we originally had 60-40 uh, front seat. So the driver's side was 40%. I have since modified this to put the uh, navigator console in. I'll probably do a video about that later. But uh, this seat, obviously with the uh, shoulder bell harness, is uh, the 40% side and that's how the, the cushion works on this particular unit.